Louisiana Beer Reviews, Lord Chesterfield Ale, revisited, this is a special edition revisit of Chetty, Chetty, named after one of the Lord Chesterfields of England, the fourth Earl of Chesterfield. Um, this has been brewed since 1829, so it's their oldest beer brand, and it's not even sold in Louisiana. Thank you, Wayne, for sending this to me. Uh, it's a fresh can. It's also sold on draft and in bottles. Now, when they first started selling Yingling in Louisiana, I believe it was 2013, they had Lord Chesterfield, 12 packs of bottles. Then, um... Guess the sales were bad. They stopped selling it. Um, I bought a 12 pack and I was telling other people, you ought to try it, but they didn't, they didn't like it. Too bitter, I guess. 5.4% alcohol, 32 bitterness units. See, there's the issue there. Uh, the Yingling Light drinkers and even the tradition the uh, yingling traditional lager drinkers aren't going to go for the bitterness I don't think that's my impression it's a uh, dark gold it's not so filtered you can see a lot of uh, powdery sediment throughout with some lazy bubble screen so it's a pretty hazy product really with that direct sunshine coming through Okay, well, you know, somewhat hazy, I guess. Thick white head. They uh, add hops during the to the brew kettle, and then they also dry hop it after fermentation. <sighs> don't know what hops. Don't know what malts. Some pale malts, obviously. So soon to be the 200th anniversary of Lord Chesterfield Ale. And I checked the copyright on that, sure enough. I think the copyright was the trademark. You know, the United States Patent Office gave a trademark in December of 1829. It smells uh, like slightly spicy white bread crust. <sighs> little grassy note, little even biscuit. It smells great. The flavor, same thing like spicy white bread, white bread crust, little grassy hop action, herbal hop action. Moderate bitterness. On the sweetness scale, it's probably two and a half out of five sugar cubes. On the bitterness scale, it's probably three out of five hop cones. medium body and a dry finish. Yeah, it's a great product. I think it's the best best beer they make. Other people would say it's the Porter. Others would say Black and Tan. I like Porter, which we don't get in Louisiana either. Uh, the Black and Tan's very nice. We can get that easily. Um, of course, we get the traditional lager, their Yingling Light, and the Flight, which is like their version of Ultra. Um, We don't get their pre Yingling Premium or Premium Light, their original lagers. I wish we did. But anyway, can't do anything about it. Oh, and we get the Hershey's, Yingling Hershey's chocolate collaboration when it's on the market. So Les Ailes Bon Ton Relay, I'm going to go with 9.4 out of 10, a 94 out of 100. Technically a craft beer company, a big mass production craft beer company, uh, whatever, um, that's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, this is made in Pennsylvania. Yeah. I don't think they brew this outside of Pennsylvania because I don't think the, uh, the sales are big enough that they need to go out to their Tampa brewery or anything like that, the old Schlitz brewery in Tampa, Florida. All right. Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Pottsville, Pennsylvania and tour the Yingling Brewery.